Hello students, welcome back into my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how we find the solutions of this past paper, Cambridge Assessment International Education, past paper, this one, paper one, pure mathematics one, May, June 20, 23rd. On paper 11. So let's we'll start with number one. Solve this equation. Okay. Read interval theta 0 to 188. If theta greater than zero it means zero not include the solutions as well 180 not include the solutions because theta greater than zero less than 180 okay i'm going to simplify tangent being sine of a course okay so four sine theta equals Sine theta over cosine theta equals zero. And if multiply by cosine theta, this equation becomes four sine theta cosine theta plus sine theta equals zero. Okay, and then I will factorize sine theta. Okay. Times four cosine theta plus one equals zero. Solution is sine theta equals zero or four Cosine theta equals negative one. Okay. So cosine theta equals negative one fourth. Sine theta equals zero, it means theta equals zero, but unfortunately, as I told you that zero not include the solution. So for this theta, uh, there is no solution. Solutions are only this. Okay. Theta equals cosine power negative one of negative one fold. Okay. And if if you look on quadrant, okay. Okay. But one, two, three, and four. Okay. Uh, cosine, cosine has value has negative values on this uh, on this area, uh, this quadrant and this quadrant, quadrant, the third quadrant, uh, second quadrant, and third quadrant. Okay. But if you look the interval 0 to 180, it means only this area between uh, the first quadrant and the second quadrant. Okay. In first quadrant, uh, cosine is positive. But in the second quadrant, cosine is negative. It means the angle here. Yeah. Okay. The angle here. Okay. So on first quadrant, angle one four. Okay. okay. Wait. So. 
uh, cosine theta okay Good. is positive one fourth yeah positive quarter on uh I, sorry cosine power I mean cosine power negative one of one fourth okay positive one fourth equals seventy five point five okay this on first quadrant okay but first quadrants are the values of uh theta is positive so it means uh, we are going to using on quadrant two so theta equals negative 75 point uh sorry 180 minus Okay, 180 minus uh, 75.5, 104.5, okay. Next, number two, find the first three terms in the expansions in ascending powers of x of 2 plus 3x power 4. Okay. We're going to uh, to apply this okay. Binomial expansion. Okay. 2 plus 3x power 4 equals combination 0, 4. Okay. 2 is 1. 2 power 4 times 3x power 0 plus combinations 1, 4, 2 cube times 3x or 1 yeah. plus combination 2, 4, 2 squared. 3x squared k. Okay. First three terms, it means one, two, three already k. Okay. So the next step, combina uh, this combination outcomes four factorials. Four minus zero factorials times zero factorials. Uh, two power four sixteen. This is one. One four times three factorials over four minus one factorials times one factorials times eight times three x because three x power one four times three times two factorials over. 4 minus 2 factorials times 2 factorials and this is 4 because 2 squared 9x squared okay it is 1 because 4 factorial over 4 factorials 1 times 16 times 1 uh yeah Divided becomes one. Four times eight times four times eight times three. Okay. I will calculate ninety-six x k okay. plus two factorials. Okay. And then twelve. Okay, twelve divided by two six. 6 times 4 times 9, 216x squared. So 16 plus 90x plus 216x squared. B, 
find the first three terms in the expansions is an is ascending power. Okay. First three terms. Uh, similar the procedure with the previous question. So combination zero five. 1 power 5, negative 2, x power 0, combination 1, 5, 1 power 4, negative 2, x power 1, combination 2, 5, 1 power, yeah, 1 cube, negative 2, x, squared okay first three terms and this combination becomes five factorials over five minus zero factorial zero factorial uh one one power five this is one as well five times four factorials 5 minus 1 factorials times 1 factorials. Uh, this is 1 times negative 2x. Okay. 5 times 4 times 3 factorials. 5 minus 2 factorials times 2 factorials. Uh, 1 cube. 1. This is 4x squared. One times one times one. Okay. Five times one times negative two. Okay. Negative ten x divided. Okay. Twenty. If I buy two, 10 times 4, yeah, 40. Okay, that. Hence, find the coefficients of x squared in the expansions of 2 plus 3x or 4, 1 minus 2 x or 5 okay uh this expansion is already uh, we already we already expand just now this uh these expressions and this expressions uh, expansion so okay this one okay and this one as well, okay. But I'm going to using just uh this part uh okay. But I'm going uh, I will I'm going to write in complete. Firstly, this one sixteen plus sixteen plus ninety six x plus 216x squared, okay. So the expansion, no. 16 plus 96x plus 216x squared, so on, okay, until 4, and then this one, one minus that one, one minus 10x plus 40x squared minus until fifth, okay, the fifth terms. Uh, the first terms, second terms, third terms as well, this one. And for 
for the coefficient x squared, uh, I will calculate 16 uh, happening because 16 times 40. So okay, what else? 96 times negative 10, okay. Okay, so minus 96. What else? What is one? 216 times one. Okay, plus 216 x squared times 1. Okay. 16 times 40 equals 650, 640. 640 x squared and 9, 960 x squared plus 216 x squared. I calculate. I calculate a negative 104 x squared. So coefficient coefficients of x squared is a negative 104. Number three. Uh, number three. Okay. Look at the graph. The diagram shows a graph with equations y equals fx and y equals gx. This graph fully a sequence of two transformations. Okay. Which transform which transforms the graph of y. Okay. So if you look at this, I'm going to using another color, the different color. Okay. Right. Uh, the distance, uh, look for uh, uh, this. And firstly, this, uh, this strike line. Okay. This strike line. Distance, okay. Okay, how many unit? Unit one, two, three, four becomes from this coordinate point to here. Okay, so it's happening on y axis. Uh, on x axis, there is no, uh, that there's no transformation because look that distance is still the same two and this is two as well so happening on y axis so from four being one two three four five six seven eight four to eight from four being eight it means four times two okay and as well this look Okay, distance from uh, this coordinate point uh, to this coordinate point, okay. Two becomes one, two, three, four. Two becomes four. Two being four, sorry. It means two times two. So firstly, uh, Better yeah. right here. Firstly, that uh, this graph it has stretch. Okay, high scale factor. Two 
two. Okay. On y axis. Okay. Right. And after that, it it moves to the left. Okay. It moves to the left. Look this from this point. Okay. It moves as far as one, two, three, four, five, become six. Okay. Okay. Six. Yeah. It moves. So this coordinate point. Okay. Um, a stretch uh, um, into here, okay, into here, the coordinate point, and then after that, uh, by a translation, okay, it moves to the left, okay, as long as x, uh, as long as this x axis, yeah, uh, to the left, uh, not on x, but, but it moves to the left, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it moves to the left. It means, yeah, this graph has translated. By translation, negative six and zero. Okay. Four. Uh, okay, this diagram shows a sector, right? ABC. Okay. Of a circle. Okay, uh, so this sector is a part of a circle. Okay, if we create a four circle like this, right? But the radius A is one. The area of the sector is, or area of this sector is 16 third pi centimeters squared. The point D lies, or D on arc BC, right? Find the perimeter of the segment. Or we are going to uh, find BC, okay, this one. And then, Okay, the strike line and this arc. Okay, I'm gonna change the color because it becomes black. So, firstly, uh, the sector area, right? As you know, that the circle area formula is pi r squared. Okay. And the sector area the sector area formula is theta theta over two pi. Okay, two pi is angle of a circle, okay. Times oh. area. Pi R squared. Okay. So it becomes yeah, pi divided and it is a pi over two times R squared. Okay. This is the formula of a sector. Right? If you can find the sector area, uh, you may using this formula half theta. Okay half theta times r squared, okay. And uh, this information taught us that the sector area is 16 over three pi. Okay, so it means we are going to find uh, theta first because r equals eight. So it is half times Theta x squared equals 
16 over 3 pi. So it means this is 64, 64, 32, 32, theta equals 16 third pi. So theta equals 16, 3 times 32 pi, okay, divide it, equals 1 over 6. Right, and next, so this angle is 1 over 6. Now we are going to find, uh, we are going to find BC, the strike line BC, based on the cosine rules that to find area that BC squared equals AC squared, okay? segment plus a b squared okay minus two a c times b c cosine theta theta is this one okay so it's gonna be a c equals that one, eight, so 64. Minus uh, two times eight times eight, uh, 32, okay. Cosine uh, pi over six is square root three half. 128, K okay, minus this one, 64, okay. eight, eight, ah, sorry, this one, 128. Because 64 times 2, 128 divided by 2, 64, yeah. After that, already this one. So, BC squared. Our BC, I mean BC equals square root. Okay. 128 minus 64 square root 3 calculator. Okay, this one 4.1411 centimeters. Okay, so that's BC, the strike line. Yeah, so the strike line is BC. Now we are going to find this arc, arc BDC. Let's start with circumference circle. Okay. Uh, formula equal, equals 2 pi R. Okay, uh, this is 8, it means 2 times pi times 8, 16 pi. And arc BC, sorry, arc BC, this is arc, arc BC, it goes uh, just now, this one, theta. Theta over theta over two pi, so one six pi over two pi times circumference times sixteen pi. Okay, sixteen five by two eight eight over 
6 8 over 6 pi it is 8 over 6 times 3.14 4. 4. 187 okay, centimeters so it means perimeter segment Okay, uh, as you know, the, uh, this is the arc, okay, uh, arc 4.187, and this is strike line BC, BC, it is D here, okay, and BC, this one, 4.1411, so it means, it means perimeter equals 4.1411 centimeters plus 4.187 centimeters. It is 8.327 uh, because 1 plus 7 centimeters. Five. The line with equations y equals kx for k, where k is a positive constant, is a tangent to the curve with equations y equals negative 1 over 2x. Okay, so k is a positive constant, is a tangent. So there is a curve like this. Okay, a curve, and this is k. Yeah, because k is a positive constant. Positive constant is uh, it means uh, k never zero or a number below of zero. K is always positive constant. Attention to the curve the equations. Okay, this is the curve. Uh, this is the yeah the tangent equation. Okay, this one. The straight line equation, this one. Okay. Find in either order the value of k and coordinates. How are we going to find this coordinate point? Okay. Uh, so when the straight line touch this curve, yeah, it has coordinate point. Okay. Where the tangents, yeah, when the tangents meet the curve. So we are going to find, okay. I'm going to start with uh, this equation that y equals kx minus k, okay, and y equals negative 1 over 2x, or it is negative half x power negative 1. And I'm going to find the derivative of this uh, these functions, this y, okay, dy dx equals negative 1 times negative half equals half x power negative 2, okay. So this is k, okay, this is k, so k equals, so what, k equals, uh, the first derivative of this one. I was going to substitute these values into this equation. So this equation, kx minus k being y equals uh, 12, because k equals, oh, uh, sorry, not 12, half x power negative 2 times x, okay, minus half x power negative 2. I'm going to simplify, becomes half x power negative 1, okay, because uh, 1 plus negative 2, and this is half x power negative 2. Or in friction, 
becomes one over two X minus uh, one over two uh, X squared. Okay. And I'm going to simplify becomes two uh, X squared minus two X over multiply becomes four X cubed. Okay. Yeah. Right. This is uh y okay or simplify two times x minus one over two to x times two x squared and two x here I did x minus 1 over 2x squared. Okay. Now let's continue. That if y equals y, okay, it means uh, this one, this expression x minus 1 over 2x squared okay, equals negative 1 over 2x. Okay. We call this. Yes. Negative 1 equals 2x. And I'm going to create becomes x minus 1. Okay. 2x squared plus 1 over 2x equals 0. Okay. okay, so I'm going to create becomes same denominator. This fraction times x plus 0. So, x minus 1 plus x equals uh, 2x squared, okay. okay, equals 0. So, 2x minus 1 over 2x squared equals 0. So it means 2x minus 1 equals 0, or x equals half. Okay. If x equals half, I'm going to move here into the space. Uh, if x equals half, okay, it means y. And we are going to using this equation. This one, this y. Okay. Okay, substitute x into these equations uh, becomes negative. 1 over 2 times half, okay, negative 1. So the coordinate point is x comma y, half comma negative 1. Six. The first three terms of an arithmetic progression are e squared over six to pi minus six and p. Okay. Given that 
the common difference of the progressions is not zero. Find the value of P. Okay, uh, we are going to find value P. Okay. So, if the arithmetic progressions are uh, that's one, it means the first U equals. Uh, equals a plus p squared over 6, second u, a plus d, 2 pi minus 6, then third u, a plus 2d, okay, equals p. If uh, first u minus uh, uh, second u minus first u, it is a plus d minus a. Okay. It is a minus a. D, okay, and if uh, third, third U minus second U equals A plus 2D okay, minus A plus D, okay, A minus A equals 0, 2D minus D equals D. So if D equals D, it means A plus 2D minus uh, A plus, wait, A plus 2D minus A plus D equals so what a plus d minus a okay so a plus 2d is so one p p minus a plus d to p uh, minus six okay equals A plus D, okay, to P minus six minus A P squared per six. Then times uh, multiply by six. Uh, this equation so it becomes six P minus six times two P minus six. Twelve P. Minus 36 minus P squared. So 6P okay. minus 12P 36 okay. minus 12P plus 36 plus P squared equals zero. So we can simplify becomes P squared, six P minus twelve P negative six P minus twelve P eighteen okay minus eighteen P then negative thirty six okay. Okay, negative 36. Oh, this is positive because negative times negative. So plus 72 equals zero. Right. Factorize. If times 
72 is adding negative 18. Okay, negative 12 and negative 6. Yeah, correct. So P equals 12 or P equals 6, right? Let me check one by one. If P equals 12, okay. Okay. This arithmetic progression becomes with, if I'm going to use, I'm going to move here. Okay. If P equals 12, this arithmetic progressions being 12 squared over 6, 2 times 12 minus 6, 12. Okay. So it is 144 over 6, 24 minus 6, 12. 144, uh, 144 over 6, okay, is 24, 24 minus 6, 18, 12, okay. Now, how about if P equals 6? If P equals 6. Equals 6. 6 squared over 6. 2 times 6 minus 6, comma 6. It becomes 6, 6, 6. So uh, this is not the solution. The solution is this one. So it means... Uh, this arithmetic progress, I mean, so it means the solutions is P equals 12. Using this value, find the sum of infinity of the geometric progressions with first two terms. Okay. Uh, geometric progression, it means R. Okay, the ratio is u2 over uh, u1, or the second two over the first two. Uh, second two is this one. Uh, second u is 18, and first u is 24. 18 over 24, it is... Three four. So it means the infinity of pro of geometric pro progressions symbol is one as infinity formula a over one minus r. Okay, a or u uh, or uh, the first U or U1, so 24, 1 minus R, 3, 4. 24 over 1, 4. 24 times 4, 96, okay. Seven, a curve has equation this y equals two plus three sine half x for x zero to four pi. Set the greatest and least values of y. I'm going to start with sine half x with least value is negative one and greatest value is one. It's interval from negative one to positive one. 
And after that, I'm going to multiply by three this expression. It's going to be three sine of x. Okay. It means negative one as well times three becomes negative three and one times three being three. And then uh, these expressions add two. And if adding two becomes two plus three sine half x, as well as negative three plus two, and three plus two. It's going to be okay. Uh, this expression has negative one as the least uh, least values and five is the greatest value. So the greatest value uh, is five. Least value is negative one. Okay. Now sketch the curve. We are going to sketch this curve. Uh, 2 plus 3 sine half x. Okay. Uh, x axis consists of pi to pi uh, until 4 pi in pi unit, while y axis I'm going to uh, manage the uh, this y axis. Y axis becomes this is one, okay, two, three, four, five, and so on if we need. While under the x axis, it is negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four negative five and so on if you need right but today I'm going to st uh, I'm going to start with uh, this the graph of y equals sine x okay the, the graph of the graph y equals sine x the maximum points one and negative one so if we sketch the graph being like this okay well like this okay this is a graph of y equals sine x as i'm gonna move to graph y equals sine of x okay from sine uh, from sine x to sine half x, this graph, based on uh, transformations, it has horizontally stretch by scale factor 1 over half equals two, the scale factor equals two. So it means uh, the maximum point still same, minimum point is still same in this one, but the answer point with x axis from pi becomes here, okay, becomes two pi and four pi. After that, then, uh, the maximum point moving moving to here okay from half pi comma comma one becomes pi comma negative one uh, comma one comes here and as well negative uh, this minimum point uh, being here okay the maximum point being here okay and maximum and and the minimum point being here 
Okay, cool. Right. And if you our minimum point becomes okay. Right. And if we at point, I'm going if I will create create becomes like this. Wait, I'm going using I'm gonna using the next so one, okay. okay. This is the graph y equals sine of x and f. The minimum point here, sorry, not here, but it becomes here, okay. Like that, okay. I'm going to clean the for the previous graph okay now, and the next step is I will moving to create to sketch the graph y equals three sine of x from graph sine of x to three sine of x okay uh, this on transformations rules, okay, it has a vertically stretch by scale factor three. Okay, we're using this color. Okay, so if scale factor three means the maximum point from one being three, minimum point from one being negative three. Okay. So if we sketch, okay. Sorry. Okay, like this. Yeah. I'm going to erase this the previous previous graph next. Uh next I'm gonna move to I'm I'm going to sketch the graph two plus three sine of x. Okay. Let me see this graph. Okay. From Three sine x from from three sine half x to two plus three sine half x. Okay, it has translated or translation two upwards uh, by two units. It means the maximum point from three being uh, positive five. I'm gonna change this, okay. And as well, this one, okay. The minimum point becomes negative one here, okay. And if we get and this one as well comes three. Okay. Oh wow, sorry, here. Okay. Moving uh, as far as two and this one as well moving far as two here. So if we sketch okay, if we sketch the This gets in the graph, it becomes like this. Okay, so well, this one forgot this. Okay, I'm going to sketch this. Okay, I'm 
Ok. I'm going to cancel this graph. The previous one. This is the graph. It's a graph of y equals 2 plus 3 sine half x. Okay. C, state the number of solutions of the equation 2 plus 3 sine half x plus 5 minus 2x. Okay. Right. We're going to we are going to sketch a graph on this uh, on this graph. Application diagram, okay. With a uh, with a graph of y equals five minus two x. Okay, this graph if y equals zero, it means this equation becomes five minus two x equals zero. So two x equals Five and x five half. Okay. Okay. If x five half, it means the coordinate point. Uh, yeah, five half comma zero, or two half comma zero. Okay. And if x equals zero, uh. This equation becomes y equals 5 minus 2 times 0. And it's going to be y equals 5. Okay. So the coordinate point 0, 5. Okay. Now we are going to sketch. Okay. 0, 5. Here and then this one two half con zero is three point one four around here after that sketch a graph uh, a strike line. I'm going to sketch a strike line. Okay, and look there is one intersection here okay uh, it means uh it has one solution because only have one coordinate uh one intersection point okay Ake. The functions f and g are defined as follows, where a and b are constant. fx and gx, that's one. Now, given that f7, 5, uh, five over 2, 5 half, and gf, uh, gf5 equals 4. Okay, now I'll go. you're going to find a and b. f7, it means this x equals 7. So 1 plus 2a over 7 minus a by half. 1 plus 2a over I'm gonna I'm gonna multiply by 7 minus a. So it's gonna be 7 minus a okay times times 2a okay times 7 minus a other that multiply by 2 it's going to be 2 times 7 minus a or a 
5 times 7 minus 8. It's going to be 14. 2a plus 4a. 35 minus 5a. I'm going to move here. It's going to be 14 plus 2a equals 35 minus 5a. Then after that, uh, being 2a plus 5a, 35 minus 14. So 7a, 21, a equals 3. Okay. Now, we are going to determine B based on this information that G F uh, 5 equals 4. But we should find F5 first. Okay. Five minus A. Okay. Because four. Uh, okay. Uh, GF, uh, or GF5 is four, but we have to find F5 first. Six, two, so one plus three, four. GF five equals okay. Wait, wait, by this. B times F5 minus 2 equals 4. So B times F5 plus 4 equals 6. So B equals 6, 4 or 3 half. For the rest of these questions, you should use the failure of A which you found in A. So A equals 3, right? Find the domain of uh, inverse F. As you know that Domain, okay. Uh, domain to F, okay, or yeah, to Fx, okay. We're gonna ask a range, okay. So how about F inverse, F inverse, yeah. Uh, through range, okay, range. To F in first, we're gonna have the main of a of fx. So it means in this case that uh, range being domain for F in first and domain of fx being range for F in first. Okay. Uh, if you sketch the graph y equals sorry, so on y equals one plus six over x minus three, it is the rational graph. Okay, 
this oh, I need more space okay here okay if you sketch this graph okay with uh first SM dot here okay I think that is x equals three. There are two asymptotes. I'm gonna show you. Uh this is the asymptote. The strike line x equals three and the second asymptote. Here y equals one. Okay, this y axis and this one x axis. So and the second asymptote here. Okay, so if you sketch the graph, it becomes, sorry. It's gonna be like this, okay. It has two inners, two uh, intercept, uh, one with X axis and one with Y axis. Okay, uh, intercept point with, X is negative three comma zero and this one is negative uh the zero comma negative one here. Okay. So uh it means the domain for a function equals uh rings uh, based on this uh this information just now I told you that this Rings of fx. Okay, so it means rings of fx okay. is b y greater than one. This is uh the asymptote y equals uh y equals one. So uh rings should be over than one. Yeah, on the up on the upwards area. This one. So it means the domain, domain of uh, F inverse should be X greater than one, okay. This is the graph, okay. Okay, let me move to C. Find an expression of F inverse, right? If fx equals one plus six over x minus three, uh, let y equals fx. Okay, so this function we could write down as one plus six over x minus three. And I'm going to multiply by x minus three. So it's gonna be x minus three y plus, uh, equals x minus three, okay, plus six. Now multiply, uh, we expand this equation becomes x y minus three y x minus three plus six. So it is x y minus x. So this x equals three y. Okay, negative being positive, and this is negative three plus six, positive three. Okay. So factorize x times y minus one, three y plus three. Okay. So x equals three times y plus one over y minus one. So we could state that 
f inverse equals 3 times x plus 1 over x minus 1. Nine, water is poured into a tank at a constant rate of 500 centimeter cube per second. The depth of water in the tank the seconds after filling start is eight centimeter. When the depth of water in the tank is eight centimeters, the volume three centimeters cube of water in the tank is given by the formula this one. Find the rate at which H is increasing at the instant when H equals centimeters. Okay. So when H equals 10 centimeters, we're going to find the rate. Okay. Per second, uh, the constant rate is 500 centimeter cube. So how about if H 10 centimeters? Okay. How much uh, the rate? It means we have to find uh, the derivative, okay, the derivative of H, okay, derivative of H, uh, derivative for T, yeah, because per second 500 centimeter cube, so it means we have to find the H dt, okay. I'm gonna start with. Uh, this formula V equals for third times twenty five plus H cube sixty two thousand five hundred over three. Okay, I'm going find. I'm gonna find uh, the first derivative of uh this formula dv dh okay three times four third okay becomes four twenty five plus h square minus one because the derivative h equals one this constant equals zero so this is the derivative four and if h equals 10, okay. Okay, if h equals 10, it means dv dh equals 4 times 25 plus 10 squared. Okay, how much is this? I'm going to calculate with my calculator first. Oh. 4,900, okay. Uh, but I'm going to using the H dV. So the H dV, it means the opposite of this number, 1 over 4,900, okay. I'm going to move to this space, okay. So the H dt equals dv, uh, sorry, dh dv times dv dt, okay. dh, dh over the dh dv equals this one, one over 4,900. So which one? Dv, dv dt. This one, okay. Five hundred. This is a uh, derivative volume for time. Okay. So five hundred. Okay. I'm going to calculate five hundred over four thousand nine hundred. Zero point one zero two okay centimeter per second. 
Thanks. B. At another instant, the rate at which age is increasing 0 0.075 centimeters per second. Right. I'm going to find phi. Okay. So based on this information that the age, the T, equals 0 0.075. So the T, the H, opposite of this number is 1 over 0 0.075. Okay. Uh, if you're going to find the VDH, uh, the formula is the VDH equals the V dt times dt dh, okay. So it means four times 25 plus h squared. Just now we already uh, found it. Okay, uh, dv dt, dv the t equals 500, okay, times it's one d t d h, okay, and it is okay, 500 of 0 0.075, okay. One four okay. So it is if you divide it um better if I find okay um square roots okay the square roots of five hundred over. 0 0.075 times 4, 0 0.3, okay. It means H equals 2 square root 500 over 0 0.3 minus 25, okay. So C equals four third, 25 plus H cube minus 62, 62,500 third. This is the formula. Four third times twenty five plus this one, this number, okay. Minus twenty five cube minus sixty thousand five hundred third, okay. going to be four third okay being zero so times square root 500 over 0 0.3 minus 62,500 third I'm going to calculate first. Ninety 
90,721 minus 60,530. So it is, wait, 69,000. Okay, point five one. So approximately becomes sixty nine thousand nine hundred unit centimeter cube. Ten. This graph. Okay. This diagram shows as part of the curve with equations is the equation and part of this of the lines how x equals one and y it is x equals one and y equals one so this one point one comma one here the curve passes through the point a okay this one point a and b this one on okay right Find the exact fill uh, the exact volume or generated when the shaded region is rotated through 360. Okay, we have to we have to using integrals. Okay. Right. This means volume. Volume equals uh, pi times it I'm gonna look okay it means three half okay one two three half okay one two three half because yeah this yeah one two this three half okay Right, so since so these integrations four over two uh, x minus one squared squared minus one. Okay. Yeah, minus one. So equals pi. I'm going to uh, I'm going to describe first this one being sixteen. Okay, two x minus one. Oh, four, okay. Minus one dx. So next here. Now I'm going to I want to simplify this one, this expression be, uh, becomes 16 times 2x minus 1, power negative 4, minus 1, dx. Okay. So, I want to find uh, this integral okay okay this integral i will uh here okay integral 2x minus 1 for 4 dx let u equals 
to x minus 1. So the u equals to the x or half the u equals the x. Okay. So integral u power 4 the x okay. Okay, equals half times the dx of minus one uh, minus uh, not minus because of, uh, e power four uh, one third one third u uh, power three okay or oh, negative four it means negative four here four it means negative four negative one third here so it becomes minus one six okay so these integrations I'm going to using uh, here. So pi times okay one two three half sixteen times this integration this one minus one six to x minus one power negative 3, okay, minus x, okay. Uh -huh. I times, okay, this dx, okay, 1, 2, 3, half, dx, Minus sixteen six oh, one over two x minus one cube. Okay, minus x okay, then it becomes pi. Minus 16 over 6, other that, I substitute 3 half. Two times 3 half minus 1 cube minus 3 half. Okay. Minus, I substitute this one. one. Okay. Times one over uh, two times one minus one cube okay. minus one. Okay. Pi uh, eight times yeah, I have calculated becomes negative 16 over 6 times 3, 8 times 6, 48, minus 3 half, minus Times one, okay. Pi times uh, this is Twenty four times three seventy two. Okay, 
el sol. Sixteen over six minus uh, six over six, so it becomes minus twenty two over six. It becomes minus 16 over 48, minus 72, 48, plus 8 times 22, 176, 48, 88 over 48 I. Simplify uh, 11 over 6 pi. Okay. And after that, B. A triangle is formed from the tangent to the curve at B. The normal to the curve at B and the x axis. Okay. Okay, so a triangle formed by the tangent and uh, the normal. Okay, find the area of the triangle. Okay, so if I will sketch, okay, is if this is the curve, okay. Uh, yeah, this the strike line, okay. Uh, the tangent, this is the tangent, okay. But we are going to uh, uh this is B, okay. Coordinate point B. All right. So Y equals. 4 times 2x minus 1, power negative 2. Uh, okay. On A, we already uh, found it. Okay. So it means uh, dy dx. Okay. We should find dy dx because we have to find the gradient. Okay. On negative three, okay. Times two, derivative two x. So, yeah, this is M. Uh, negative that? negative eight times two yeah, negative sixteen over two x minus one cube okay now at b uh three half comma one But just now we already on this B, this one, okay. Okay, at B, three half comma one, this is X, this is Y. Okay, so we are going to substitute into this equation, uh, the gradient equations, three half. So m becomes negative sixteen over okay, two times three half minus one cube okay. minus sixteen over 
This is three minus one, two. So cube eight. Okay. So M negative two. We are going to find uh, the equation, uh, the strike line equation. Okay. The strike line equation was formula that y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We are going to find the strike line. This one, this strike line, this tangent equation. Okay. Okay. So this equation is through B. Okay. And has uh, gradient negative 2. If through B and gradient negative 2, it means Y minus 1, this one, minus uh, equals negative 2 times X minus 3 half. Okay. Minus 2x, okay, plus 3. So y equals minus 2x plus 3 plus 1 because negative 1 moves here. So the equation y equals negative 2x plus 4. This is the equation for this tangent strike line, okay. And uh, we are going to find the equations for normal. It says that it's a normal. Okay. Okay. So the normal. To B, okay, and it's I it's form the uh, ninety degrees is a bit uh, perpendicular, so ninety degrees here. And there is normal and tangent are perpendicular each other, okay. If perpendicular, it means uh, m tangent okay, times m normal cos negative 1. This is the rule. Yeah. So m tangent, that's not this one, negative 2. Okay. Okay, negative 2 times m, m normal, negative 1. So m, m normal equals half. Okay. So the strike line, the normal through b, okay, through b, Three half comma one and has gradient half. The strike line formula. This one. Okay, we are going to find the uh, the equations of the normal uh, to this formula. Y minus this one. Y uh, minus one. Because m x minus to half y equals half x minus three four plus one y equals half x four minus three okay one four.
Si Anwar Consigno. Iya. Let y equals zero. So if y equals zero, this y, it's going to be half x plus one fourth equals zero. So half x equals negative one fourth. X equals minus one fourth times two minus half again. Yeah, so this is half, uh, minus half. Okay. Uh, it is a point between this uh, normal strike line and x axis. But how much is one? Okay, uh, the coordinate point is how much? Uh, we should find through the, the tangent, the tangent strike line. Okay, the tangent strike line is uh, wait. Just now y y equals negative two x plus four. Okay. If y equals zero, that is two x minus four equals zero, so minus two x because four x equals four over minus two equals uh this is sorry minus four okay two so this is two it means that uh the distance this the base of this triangle is two plus uh zero point five so two point five while this uh, the height is this is three half comma one okay, it means this is one so this is one okay it means the area triangle half times base times height Half times base 2.5, I equals 1. So it is uh, 5 over 4. Okay. Yeah. 11. The equations of a curve is such that dy dx. 6x squared minus 30x plus 6a, where a is a positive constant. Okay. The curve has a stationary point at a comma negative 15. Find the value of a. So we are going to find uh, a. It means we found, we're going to find the stationary point. Okay. We're going to find the stationary point is uh, dy dx should be zero, okay? Right, if dy dx should be zero, it, it means this expression is equal to zero. Equal to zero, so if x equals a, this equation being 6a squared minus 30a plus 6a equals 0. 6a squared uh, minus 24a equals 0 after that factorize 6a times 4, okay, equals 0. 
right? So six a equals zero or a equals four. So there is no solution for this. Yeah, because a over uh, zero over six, there's no solution. So a equals, uh, sorry, not four. This is four. Good. Okay. Right. So this, uh, we are going to using that. This one, a equals four. Okay. B, determine the nature of this decimal point. We are going to find the type of the stationary point, whether a minimum point or maximum point. Okay. Divide the x. 6x squared minus 30x plus uh 6a but a equals 4 it means 24. okay zero so 6x squared minus 30x plus 24. okay yeah because this way uh, divide the x so the second derivative will be 12 minus that's of x minus 30 okay if x equals 4 okay 12 times 4 minus 30 uh it is 48 minus 30 18. Okay, 18 is greater than zero. Greater than zero, it means the type, okay, the type of stationary point. Okay. Is minimum, okay. Yeah, so it is minimum point. Yeah, with coordinate point. Okay. With coordinate point is now uh, x equals four, four one negative fifteen. Okay. C, find the equations of the curve, okay. So, divide the x, 6x squared minus 30x plus 24. So, it means y equals integral 6x squared minus 30x plus 24, the x, okay. It's gonna be x cubed because two plus one and six over three, two. x squared, 30 over two, 15, plus 24 x plus t. At coordinate point four comma negative fifteen, okay, this is the minimum point. That's now we uh, found already. So this equation becomes x y minus fifteen equals two times four cubed minus fifteen times four squared plus 24 times 4 plus c okay so it i calculate it becomes 
Yeah, C, is it C? Yeah. C equals, um, let's calculate this equals, yeah, C equals one if you calculate, yeah. You may calculate that. I calculate equals one. So the curve is, Y equals uh, one substitute here fifteen x squared plus twenty four x plus one. This is the curve. Okay. Yeah. Find the coordinates of any other stationary points on the curve. Okay, so there are uh two stationary points. Okay. Uh, just now we calculate already uh, that the the first coordinate point is four comma negative fifteen. Okay. Now we are uh, we're gonna find others. Right. Again the y the x equals six x squared minus 30x, okay, plus 24, uh, 20, uh, 24 equals zero. Okay. Divided by six, six squared, five x plus four, zero. Factorize. Negative four, negative one. Okay. So x equals four, x equals one. Okay. If x equals one, y equals uh, a this uh, the functions the this one I'm going to writing here okay y equals six x uh sorry that's one oh this one this one nice This one, uh, dy dx. Y, this one. This one, okay. So y equals 2x cube. Okay. 2x cube plus uh, minus 15, I mean minus 15. Minus fifteen x squared, okay, plus twenty four x plus one because c equals one, okay. So substitute here, two times one cube, fifteen one squared, twenty four times one plus one. This is twelve. Right. If x equals four, y equals uh, two times four q okay. minus. Fifteen times four squared plus twenty four times four 
plus 1. Okay. You're going to find this negative 15. So there are two, uh, two stationary points. This one already, we found already this one, uh, 4, comma, negative 15. And other one, this one is 1, comma, 12. So there are two coordinate points or stationary point. This one and this one. Number 12. Okay. Look at the question. The diagram shows a circle P with center 0, 0,2, center 0, 0,2 around here. Okay. And radius 10. And the tangent to the circle at the point A with coordinates point six comma ten. Okay. It also shows a second circle Q on upwards with center at the point where this tangent meets the y axis and with radius five half square root five. Okay. The business. A, write down the equations of circle P. Okay. Uh, circle P has center 0, 0,2 and radius 10. The formula to determine the circle equation is x minus A squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. So it's going to be x minus 0 squared because this is a, this is b. y minus 2 squared equals 10 squared. So x squared plus y minus 2 squared plus 100. This is the equations of circle P. We find the equations of tangent to the circle P at A. Okay, but firstly, I'm going to create another strike line. Name normal strike line through A and through center. So this strike line perpendicular to tangent and through 0, 0,6 and uh, through 6, 10 and 0, 0,2. Okay. So through A, 6, 10 and center 0, 0,2. Okay. Now I'm going to determine the normal uh, the normal gradient as 10 minus 2 over 6 minus 0. 8 over 6 simplify for third. Okay. Uh, the formula says that tangent gradient times the normal gradient if perpendicular equals negative one. Okay. Right. So it means uh, this gradient tangent times for third equals negative one. So it means 
and tangent equals negative three four. Okay. So the equation uh, the tangent through six uh, yeah through six comma ten and has a gradient negative three four. Right. The formula to determine the equation, the strike line equation is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. y minus 6 negative 3 4 times x minus 10. Okay, I'm gonna move here. Y minus six equals negative three four. X uh, plus thirty. Okay, because yeah, ten. Wait, X oh. Sorry, this is supposed to be this is 10. Sorry, I'm wrong. Okay, uh, x comma y. So this is 10, this is 6. Okay, it's gonna be this. Y minus 10, okay. And this is three times six, eight in four. Y equals negative three, four X plus 18 over four plus 10. So Y equals negative three, Four x plus fifty eight for four or y negative three four x plus twenty nine how oh. this is the equations of tangent C find the equations of circle Q and hence verify the Y coordinates of both of the points of intersection of the two circles are 11. Okay, so firstly, we are going to find the equation of circle Q. Uh, circle Q has radius, uh, the radius is 5 squared 5 half. And the center we have to determine first through this uh, this equation, strike line equation, tangent equation. Okay, the tangent equation negative three four x plus twenty nine half. Okay, if x equals zero, okay. So y equals 29 over 2. So the center, center Q is 0, 0,29 half. Okay. And the equation x minus a squared, y minus b squared, equals r squared this is a this is b x minus zero squared y minus 29 half squared five square root five over two squares x squared it is y minus 29 half squared 
and it becomes 25 times 5, 125 over 4. Okay. This the equations of circle cube. Okay. And next. When y equals 11, okay, based on this statement that we are going to verify, okay, that y equals 11. When y equals 11 on this equation, this equation being x squared plus 11 minus 29 half squared, equals 125 over 4. So x squared plus 22 minus 22 minus 29 negative 7 half squared 125 over 4. So x squared equals 125 over 4 minus now uh, 49 over 4. Okay, I'm going to move into this space, this area. Okay. So x squared equals uh, 129 minus uh, 125 minus 49. 76, okay, 76 over 4, or equals 19, okay. So x squared equals 19. Now verify. Verify circle P. Uh, when x squared equals 19. So the equations of circle P, x squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 100, being 19 minus y min uh, plus y minus 2 squared equals 100. So it means uh, okay. oh, uh, we are going to verify. Okay. So it will be y minus 2, 100. But because, yeah. Uh, I'm going to using this one, this uh, y equals 11. Okay. I'm going to verify x. Okay. But you can, you can as well uh, verify x. I'm going to determine x. Yeah. So now y equals 11, so 11. So eighty one. Okay, same equals 19. Okay, one. So how about if uh, this is 19? Uh, you can get that y equals 11 here. Okay. okay. On circle, verify on circle. Q. Okay. 
when uh yeah when x 19 x squared okay right this when when y Especially when y equals 11, this, yeah, when y equals 11. This one, x squared equals 19. Uh, this uh, on circle, on the circle Q, yeah, 19 plus y minus 29. One twenty five over four, so it's gonna be y minus twenty nine four equals one twenty five over four minus nineteen. And if you calculate this, you're gonna find that y okay uh, y equals eleven. Same with this one. Is y equals 11. Okay. Right. Next. D. Find the coordinates of the points of intersections of the tangent and circle Q. Giving the answer in third form. Okay. We are going to find coordinates of point in, of intersection. So there are two intersections between tangent and circle Q. Okay, look. One, two, okay. With center here. Okay, I'm going to start with the tangent equation y equals negative 3 4 x plus 29 half. Okay. This is the first equation with y minus 29 half equals negative 3 4 x. This is the first equation, and the second equation is circle, circle Q. X squared okay. uh, plus Y minus 29 half squared. One twenty five over four. This is uh, why these equations, okay, y minus 29 over 2 equals negative 3 foot x. So these expressions I'm going to change to it, this expression. So it's going to be x squared minus 3 4 x, okay. Hmm. Yeah, minus this one. And then it's going to be x squared plus 9 over 16. x squared, 125 over 4. And it is 25 over 16 because 16 times 9 over 9, uh, 16. Uh, yeah, this is 16 over 16 here. So 16 plus 9 equals 25. Okay, so x squared equals 125 over 4 times 16 over 25. 5, 4, so x squared equals 20. Or uh, this x equals Two square root five. Okay. 
positive and negative. Positive and negative. Uh, 2 square root 5, so x1 is 2 square root 5, while x2 equals negative 2 square root 5. I'm going to this equation. Okay. Uh, this equation. Okay. Because we are going to determine y if x equals positive 2 square root 5. Okay. Substitute into this equation. Becomes y equals negative 3, 4 times uh, 2 square root 5. Okay. 29 over 2. It's going to be... Okay, this is divided, so minus is 2 here, so minus 3 square root 5, okay, plus 29 over 2. Okay, so the coordinate point 2 square root 5, comma, minus 3 square root 5 plus 29 over 2. Okay. Now, how about if x equals negative 2 square root 5? Okay. This equation equals uh, becomes like this. Negative 3, 4 okay, times negative 2 square root 5 plus 29 over 2. Okay, it becomes positive this. 3 square root 5 plus 29 over 2. Okay. So the coordinate point 2 and negative 2 square root 5 comma this one. 3 square root 5 plus 29 over 2. Okay, students, thank you for joining with me in this lesson. See you.